I was 10 seconds. The oculocardiac reflex with retinopathy of prematurity exams. This comes from the Alaska OCR study, which is almost three decades and looks recently at observations of retinopathy of prematurity exams on initial or follow-up visits, and then also cases under general anesthesia of strabismus surgery, excluding those cases that were reoperations, anticholinergic medications, opioids, or Presidex. These are trigeminal uh, vagal reflexes with a fast heart rate being stimulated by the eye through the trigeminal and vagus nerve, slowing the heart rate down called the oculocardiac reflex. These are examples from the NICU of ROP exams showing profound bradycardia and at times oxygen desaturation. There are other cases where the examination produces tachycardia or other cases where during the exam there's minimal change in the heart rate. Under some cases, there is a profound, prolonged uh, bradycardia during these examinations. If we define oculocardiac reflex as the percent heart rate from a stable baseline heart rate, for an ROP exam using Alfonso Lid Speculum and the Arnold see-through scleral depressor, we find the frequency distribution of uh, heart rate change um, showing bradycardia and tachycardia cases. We compare the ones for ROP exam with strabismus surgery under general anesthesia using a uniform uh, stimulation, 10 second, 200 gram tension, showing a different uh, frequency distribution of heart rate changes so that the median heart rate change from uh, strabismus oculocardiac reflex is less than the median for ROP examination. We find that uh, lower birth weight babies have more bradycardia. Regarding the date of examination, the baseline heart rate and the exam heart rate were higher with increasing age as was the percent change heart rate over time. Patients with stage zero ROP had less bradycardia. We did not have sufficient power to determine whether or not oculocardiac reflex could predict ROP treatment, however.